Hello and welcome again to the MJA Forum. I'm your host, and today I'm going to be giving honest reactions to internet stories about wrestling companies. I'm going to pull up some stuff here, and you're actually going to see and hear the logic behind some of these headlines. The first one I'm going to pull up here is a story about, the headline reads, Stephanie McMahon blows up about Jericho being leaked. And you open it up, and it talks about how angry Stephanie got at the writers for blowing the surprise that the Save Us 222 promos are about Chris Jericho and that they re-signed Chris Jericho. I have an issue with this for a couple of reasons. One, how could you not keep your mouth shut? It's Chris Jericho. Man, I'd be shouting it from the rooftops the second he put his name on the dotted line. You know, as the creative, you know, director or whatever, Steph has every right to be pissed that somebody blew her surprise. But at the same time, I think she's going about it the wrong way, trying to get people on board with it. You know, trying to keep it a surprise doesn't make any sense. Jericho is a guy who people want to see. People are calling for it. Uh, I know No Mercy the other week that was in my backyard, basically, at the, uh, you know, at the Allstate. They were chanting his name pretty much the entire show and it took Vince coming out to sit there and say you're not getting that tonight and the crowd to boo the shit out of him before anything died down all right people want Jericho back and you need to announce that he's signed and they're just waiting to bring him in that's what they need to do or they just need to put him on TV now granted I understand you don't want to take the thunder of uh you know a guy like Shawn Michaels who's been on the shelf but it's Chris Jericho So, granted, she's going to be angry, and she has every right to be as the creative head, but, all kidding aside, that's something you need to throw out there for the fans. The next uh, headline that I'm seeing here is uh, Candice Michelle out for two months. Uh, I spoke a little bit about this in the previous, you know, video. Uh, Candice, I wish you nothing but the best. You know, I'm sorry you lesnar that move, and uh, I hope you feel better. And uh, we look forward to seeing you back in the ring. Hopefully you get some new music, though, because your music sucks. Uh, the last headline and the most recent headline that I was able to find, uh, for the WWE at least, ECW gets renewed. Uh, it was a little hairy there for a while. There were rumors that ECW was going to fold uh, because they weren't quite at the ratings that ECW wanted for whatever, or Sci-Fi wanted for whatever reason. Uh, But it was just confirmed, and they just put it all over the internet. ECW's been renewed through 2008. So, congratulations, Vince, on bailing yourself out of that. ECW, for those of you who may or may not watch it, ECW is, hands down, the best hour of wrestling you will see on television. Quick, crisp storylines, decent matches, you know, some names, good build-up, and easily accessible feuds. It's everything that TNA Impact at one hour should have been, just so you know. Congrats, ECW. And we'll move on to TNA. TNA headline reads, former WWE star to TNA. I open up this headline, and I see D'Lo Brown. D'Lo Brown has worked for TNA in the past. Since his tenure in WWE. He has not been back to WWE since he worked in TNA. I would no longer consider him a WWE star. He's just old hat. Moving on. The next headline I see is major tag teams reuniting in TNA. And then there's a huge question mark. 
and you open it up and it talks about Brian Christopher and Scott Taylor. The reunion of Too Cool, as fun as it would be, where would it go in TNA? Are they really going to have the caliber of matches that the Motor City Machine Guns have, that uh, you know people like the Dudleys have? I mean, are you going to put Too Cool with the Steiners? I mean, you're basically setting them up to fail from the get-go. As fun of a tag team as they are. I mean, granted, you already have Rikishi there. That would also be interesting to see the reunion of the three of them together. But that's about all it would do. There's no storyline function. There's no plot. There's no future in it. And it would get stale real quick. The other one that I saw that kind of surprised me was it says Kevin Nash is in talks with Scott Hall to reform their tag team in TNA. If Scott Hall and Kevin Nash reform the Outsiders in TNA, the only people that they should logically feud with is the Voodoo Kin Mafia. That'd be the only good feud I'd see out of it because then you get, you know, the Wolf Pack or the NWO, whatever you want to call it, on this side, and then you get the New Age Outlaws or the VKM or whatever you want to call it on this side, and then we finally get to see that, you know, Jarrett Hall on a pole match because they're all ancient. Um, I just can't see it working, but it is one of those dream matches that people talk about uh, in a similar vein to, uh, you know, the Road Warriors and the Dudleys, or the Dudleys and even the Steiners, which, granted, it wasn't all that great, but it was nice to see, given the history of both teams. Um, Overall, uh, my impression of the Internet is it seems like people are scratching. You know, it's it's nice to be informed and, you know, stuff like that. And I'm seeing all these stuff, you know, half this stuff comes out on mobile alert and then gets posted on the Internet, and it's like, seriously, is that what you're going to do? You know, you, you're going to take stuff that the company sends you and then just immediately post it on, you know, Pro Wrestling Insider or, uh, you know, Wrestle Complex or whatever. I I don't understand. Uh, it's one thing to put a spin on it, you know, to talk about it like a YouTuber person or, uh, you know, write a column about it in an editorial, something like that. But to just blatantly, oh, well, WWE said this, so I'm going to post it here. I don't get. Maybe it's just me and may- maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm an asshole. I don't know. But uh, it's kind of weird and it's freaking me out. So, you know. Find, find something, you know, unique. Something that WWE doesn't post on their website or TNA doesn't post on their website or send out on their mobile alert to post on your websites. I don't get that. That doesn't make sense. And then all the copying and changing that gets done between the websites because I'll see something show up on no DQ, and then the next thing I know it's on ProWrestlingHeadlines.com. You know, I... I don't get it. And they cite the source, and it just doesn't, doesn't make sense. Find something unique, post it, and then move on. No sense in dwelling on it. This is the MJA. Peace.